I'm Eliza, I'm studying an MSc in Climate Futures and I'm from Buckinghamshire originally. So I originally did philosophy, politics and economics as my undergrad and then I moved to Leeds for work where I've been working in communications for a couple of Leeds based charities. I decided I wanted to get a bit more specialist uh, in terms of what areas I could work in um, and so I looked at Leeds Uni, because I love the city, uh, to see what masters they had and Climate Futures really jumped out to me. And then I found this course specifically and it was really great because it's an MSc and I did a BA, but they were taking anyone from any backgrounds, which was really interesting and exciting. The breadth of the course, the fact that it would be looking at the science as well as the politics, um, I thought that would make it a more interesting course and actually a more applicable one for the future. Um, in terms of my career and just understanding the topic. So in the first term, we were given two compulsory modules, um, and that was because we came from such a broad range of backgrounds, it needed to get everyone on the same page. So it was one social and politics focused one, and one physical science focused one. Um, but now coming into term two, we were given four different optional modules. It was helpful to have options, so you could kind of shape the direction you were gonna take after your masters whilst you were still in it. On the politics side of things, we did a lot of work on discourse analysis, which is kind of understanding how people use language to kind of frame the problems and solutions of climate change and how if you do that differently, you get kind of different outcomes. And I think that was really interesting coming at it from having not studied it academically before. And then also on the physical side of things, we've actually done some like climate modeling where we've chosen what would happen if you do X. And that's been really cool because I've never done um, Python. I've never done any kind of coding before. So it's been exciting to learn a new skill. Our field trips have all just been around kind of team building and understanding the topic of climate change and sustainability more broadly. We went to Wales for a week and we were at a set, the place called the Centre for Alternative Technology. And it was just about like learning about cool things around sustainability and spending time with our dissertation groups so we could get to know each other better. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Having lecturers that are involved in like really up to date work in climate change and sustainability is exciting as well and that's the great thing about this school specifically that I'm in. We've had a talk from one of the people that work in the careers service at Leeds Uni. He came in and gave a seminar session to our course and it was looking at how we can use LinkedIn to try to find job opportunities. In my future plans I'm either going to pursue a PhD, I would be really interested in that um, especially if I could study at Leeds because I think the School of Earth and Environment is like a really great place to research. Um, however, there's also a lot of really exciting new opportunities in climate and sustainability that I'm currently unaware of just because of how new the field is. At Leeds as a city, I fell in love with it as soon as I moved here just because, I mean, I love the outdoors. so. It's really close to the Dales. It's really great to get out into like big green open spaces, but then also in the city center, there's loads of stuff going on. There's loads of places to eat and drink. And there's just like a really good energy to the place. If you're thinking of studying a master's at Leeds, do it. It's a great experience, a really fun atmosphere, and you'll definitely learn a lot of really interesting things.